my YouTube. Hey guys, it's Shanti. I hope you're having a fabulous weekend. Uh, what am I doing this weekend? Not much of anything. Uh, I am kind of relaxing. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to come on because I wanted to show you something that I got. It's probably been about a month and a half ago. Um, I'm going to do a reveal here, you, as you already know in the title what it's going to be. Um, but I actually, <laughs> I've used it. I took it on vacation with me. I went to Jamaica um, now about a month ago and um, I have been wanting this. It's been on my wish list for so long. Uh, I actually looked at it while I was in, uh, probably, I think I was in the Paris store when I looked at it. Uh, I remember going upstairs and looking at it. Yeah, I think it was there, right? I think it was there. Anyway, uh, I had looked at it, but I did not purchase it at that time because I had other things on my wish list. And as you know, you can't have everything on your wish list unless you just got it like that and I don't got it like that. So um, I did not purchase it there, but it's been on my wish list forever. And it is the Keep All 45. It is the staple in anyone's uh, Louis Vuitton collection uh, that you would use for traveling. I also hesitated about purchasing this because um, all the bags that I carry with me uh, when I travel and when I go on board, I usually have, uh, uh, you are allowed two carry-ons. Um, one they consider your kind of handbag and the other one they consider your, um, you know, roller, roller carry-on. And it has to fit the dimensions or whatever, which is fine. So I typically only do carry-ons when I travel because I hate waiting for my bags. It just slows me down as soon as I get off the plane I want to be out so that's how I travel uh, on vacation it's a little bit different um, I do check-in bags but I mean that that's that's how I roll I mean when I travel that's what I would just want my carry-on and one bag and that's it so uh, the reason I had steered away from the keep all is because all of the bags that I typically carry I can somehow attach to my carry-on and I was just you know, having a hard time because the handle of the keeple is so short and I knew that that wouldn't go over my um, carry-on handle, if you know what I mean. There's a retractable, usually, handle that goes on the roller bag and I knew that the, the um, you know, the height of that handle wasn't high enough. Um, However, I have always, always loved the keep all. Um, the, the, it's the classic shape. You guys know that my uh, very first Vuitton was a Speedy 30, and I mean, it's the same shape pretty much. And I just, I love the shape. It's a classic shape. It's a classic Louis Vuitton piece, and Louis Vuitton, you know, is known for traveling. So, anyway, I'll stop laughing about that. I finally um, decided that it was time to get one. It was on my wish list, wish list for so long. However, I just did not want to pay retail. I mean, I, I was like, I need to find one pre-loved. So I started looking and, you know, I started looking at the usual places um, online, Fashion File, Yugi's, um, eBay. I started looking at all these different places and I almost bought one from eBay but it just did not work out. Um, and the one that I was looking for specifically was Damier uh, Abin and that one is just a little harder to come by. I found tons of mono um, but I, you know, I didn't want a mono. I even thought, okay, forget that. I'll just like wait for the new prints that are coming out and wait to get one. And I was like, you know what? Stop. I'm going back to the basics. I'm going back to what I originally wanted, which was on my wish list a long time ago. And it is the Damier Abin Keep All. The uh, one thing I wish they did, and I, I don't get it. Like, I don't get it. I don't get why they do this. Like, why isn't the inside of the Damier of being keep all red? Like, I don't get it. Like, if you're if red is gonna be the theme for your Damier of being line, then make the interior red. Like, why change it? Why is it brown? Anyway, that's my gripe. Um, 
So I was looking and looking at the, you know, your standard places. And then I decided, you know what, I'm going to do a search on Facebook to see what's going on. Does anybody have one for sale? And I found a place, a consignment store uh, named Ooh La La. It's out of Florida. And uh, I found one. <laughs> and not only did I find one, it appeared to be in awesome condition from the pictures. And I thought, okay, well, um, wow, that's kind of crazy. So I made a phone call and I contacted, actually ended up speaking with the owner, Karen, um, of Ooh La La Consignment Store, and she was fabulous. She, uh, you know, sent me, she told me the bag was still available. We chatted a little bit. I looked at more pictures. I asked about authenticity, um, and they actually use a service to authenticate and um, she sent me a copy of the authenticity. I then took that and verified with the authenticator that this was truly um, an authentic piece. Uh, you guys don't have to always go retail when you're looking for high-end stuff. Um, you can find uh, deals if you look on the resale market. Uh, I would definitely suggest that you look um, at that. Um, I was able to save on tax um, and you know that that's a pretty big uh, chunk of money that you can keep. So um, I am definitely a proponent of being able to afford uh, or being able to make luxury more affordable when you're looking for deals because there are times that people just you know they are looking to move on and for whatever reason this particular owner decided that they were going to move on from what i understand this particular owner bought this as a gift um and it was never used and it sat in their closet and it was past the time of um, returning it back to louis vuitton i guess and so um she sent it off to this consignment shop so let's get to it and i what i did was i repacked the bag as it came to me so that you guys can see exactly, um, you know, the condition that it was sent in, how she sent it. Um, she really did. Okay, okay. so this yeah. is how it came to me. Um, sometimes when you're buying from a consignment store, they don't have everything. And one of the things that was missing on this particular uh, pre-loved item was the dust bag. This is the lovely uh, Louis Vuitton shoe ball. Let me straighten it out a little bit. Um, as you can see, I do have my clay on here, my palm clay, because uh, I found that this was an easier way for me to get uh, quickly to my cards and my cash if needed be, um, just because the inside of this particular, uh, this particular bag does not have a zipper. So it's basically a black hole, um, similar to a Neverfull. Um, so I have this on here. It did come with the actual tag. It did come with the lock and key, which I have inside, and it did come with the um, shoulder strap. I also, right now, um, have this charm on the side. Uh, I got this from Louis V83, and I did um, travel with this. I just, I just adore this charm. <laughs> that's that let's oh and um, I did also it did also come with um, this strap here so it came with all the parts the only thing that was missing was the actual dust bag this is how she packed it and inside um, she did not have again um, you know a Louis Vuitton dust bag but she put the strap in here this is the long strap, the long Louis Vuitton strap with the shoulder uh, insert here. Um, I have heard a rumor that the new ones do not include that. I read that on TPF. Um, I am very curious if that is true or not. I have no idea, but if that's true, that's kind of crappy if you ask me because I like this shoulder strap and the shoulder strap also has these, um, I don't know, it feels like rubber almost, but I don't know what it's made out of. I'm assuming it's leather, but this helps um, stay, uh, it, this helps with the bag staying put on your shoulder. 
Oh, there it goes. There it's focusing. Okay. Okay, and then also inside, as you can see, this is like I have another dust bag which has nothing in it right now. And then she sent this as well. And look at this lovely pile that it just smushes into this lovely pile. Um, these are the other things that she sent inside this little bag here. So this was the little baggie that came with the lock and key. And then I have my proof of purchase. I have my authentic first. Copy of it. And then she also sent the cards. There is the There we go. There's the code. Here's the original tag and the retail. Come on, focus. There's the original tag. And then this is her card. So that's it guys, that's all I have for today. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to go over uh, what I had gotten and let's see, there's so many other things to kind of chit chat about but I don't wanna do it in this video. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you enjoyed my keep all. Uh, I, like I said, I think when it comes to um, uh, collection pieces, this is one of the ones that if you are a traveler and you collect um, uh, Louis Vuitton, when I say collect, let me, let, let, let me just clarify what collect means. Um, for me, I just want um, you to know, because I've been struggling with this a little bit, um, and that is, uh, I have seen, you know, and I have just, on, on YouTube, there are, there are a lot of different people that um, collect. They are collectors. And I, for me, um, I, I need to use my bags. I, I don't want them to collect dust. I am a collector um, in that I want like the piece, you know, I love fashion, guys. I, I love fashion and um, for that reason, it's it's so easy to get caught up in every single new piece that comes out. So for me, it's important, as I say this, I bought the Palm Spring backpack, but for me, it was something that I was gonna use. So um, I wanna use the things that I have, and I feel like if I'm not using it, there's a reason why I'm not using it, and if I'm not using it, I want it to be used, and that might mean that I need to sell it, and that I need to, um, have it to go to another home where someone else is gonna love it and use it. I want the bags to be used. That's that's what they're for. Um, whatever it is, whatever it is that you're buying, bags, shoes, whatever, clothes. I don't want anything to sit there anymore and collect dust because it's too valuable. You know, um, we spend a lot of time working. We spend a lot of time just doing things, and um, all of that means something. And it, it feels almost like it's going to waste when it's not being used and I don't I, I don't want that. So anyway, I'm blabbing. I will stop now. It's great to talk to you guys. I hope you guys have a fabulous week and I will talk to you later. Oh my god, it's YouTube. I hope you enjoyed my Neverfull. I love my Neverfull. What am I saying? I wish my strap would stop.